How's the new France focus tree looking? Oh, I didn't see it actually, Kallax. They didn't show us. Name them Varangians, you're right. I did have them as the Varangians initially and then changed them. Okay. Um. I'm sensing some counterattacks here in Hungary. And yes, I'm aware that he is losing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the cavalry again and bring them back over to this side to come and assist. Russian Republic has declined. It seems as though the Russians have seen fit to deny us the trade deal, thereby disallowing any semblance of economic cooperation between our two countries, and effectively robbing us of any sort of economic gain that we may have enjoyed. This has far-reaching implications for future Bulgarian-Russian joint ventures. Alright, we'll conquer them. They will trade with us whether they like it or not. It is, after all, just good business. Yeah. Uh, construction. Okay, onwards. Forty seven thousand to eight hundred and thirty thousand. Yikes. Yeah, you guys should really be riding like crazy. Let's get you into this position. It's actually good speed four. Combat unit destruction. We can now start researching ground support. Upgrade that even further. And we should also research 1940 planes. That is another thing I have not yet done, and I really should. Attacking us again, that's going to give us a nice opportunity for a counter-attack. Which is good. Yeah, they are pretty determined to push us here, but they're just not succeeding. Ah, we have manpower again for more air forces. Let's go ahead and deploy a bunch more close air supports. I think we have air superiority everywhere that we need to. Although we can always just get another unit of fighters, I think that's probably wise. There we go. And then they can deploy as necessary. And I'm also going to say... You have a go to counterattack. Because a lot of their frontline forces here should be very, very weak now. And 
how we're doing in terms of reaching our maximum 100,000 short still. What about mobilization? We're at 12.2. We can get up to 14, so we can get another 1.8% manpower. Assembly line production is done. Good. Don't think we need any fuel. We could do with excavation. Oh, no, no, no. Planes, planes, planes. Uh, processable. There we go. Oh, that would work. And yes, by all means, attack. Close as Illyria to capitulation. Bohemia is about to go. Illyria is still on the way. I have 35% participation. France actually has 55. So all of this will not be falling to me. Some of it will become French. Is that just because France has lost the most troops? Actually, no. <laughs> Our entire side, despite the fact that I am fighting alongside an AI here, We've still only lost 178,000 to 1 million. Speaking of Bulgarian Space Marines, I should probably see if I can upgrade any more. I can, can get two more. So, you get an upgrade. To Cataphracts. And you get an upgrade. To Cataphracts. That's actually a good question. What is their stats looking like now? Armor, still only 39, but 39 is pretty good for a mostly infantry army. Really? You, you, you're not seeing any opportunities for attacking here? I thought so. Keeping radicalism at bay. Ensure political stability. It is of utmost importance that we do not allow radicals and or troublemakers from both within and without to cause trouble for Bulgaria. We cannot and must not allow the state to become destabilized, lest our enemies take advantage of us during our darkest hour. I thought this was a Bulgarian golden age. How can it be a darkest hour and a golden age? Uh, you're going to have absolutely nobody entrenched there. So I'm going to say go ahead and enact that order. If you see an opportunity, you have my permission to seize it. Otto is looking at the advancing Cindy and Bulgar forces. Hmm, time to leave. I think France's AI has the German used tanks code from vanilla, which reduces their losses. Could be. France does tend to use them fairly heavily. German government and exile has joined the Entente. Interesting. So Germany is not done yet. We're doing for supply, by the way. Um, I mean it says poor, but not really. I 
Yeah, the Illyrian front is done. In fact, I think that that front might be done too. They do not have very many troops here. In fact, I think the Galician front is pretty much finished too. All right, general assault. Off you go. Docking rights from the Prussian Republic. Sure, why not? It's only non-aggressions I'm not saying no to. Alright, Lyria is halfway. Now we're making up the difference. 1.5% to go. Yeah, Boris. You haven't leveled up for a while, have you? No, you haven't. You should. Become a logistics wizard. Let's say you. Perhaps. Change the Varangian icon as well. Varangians are going to be... Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Battle axe. And Boris the White. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way. They were at a million losses. What happened? A hundred thousand men suddenly came to life again. Bohemia has capitulated. Union of Denmark to two states. Coming of France to nine. Sweden have been the next. Coming of France. The majority is French. Okay. Jacques Doria Dorio has announced that the cowardly Bohemian nation could no longer stand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of the Communard forces. Zombies are fighting for Austria. Kinda looks that way. How are we doing in participation now? I'm at 36%, France is at 53 and Union of Britain has 8. And Austria is under significant attack by the French right now. Have a little bit of manpower left again. But I'm pretty sure that's going to disappear pretty quickly as well. 12.6% manpower mobilized. Vladimir Stoichev falls ill. That's unfortunate. Um, I will replace you with Lukov. Five divisions that should be up there. Moving around for some reason. Okay. I guess. Air, 
superiority. We do have a lot of planes, although... How many planes do you guys have now? Actually, not that many. 1,500? 2,000? I have 2,000. Mine are pretty new. Admittedly, not 1940 model, but they're all 36s at least. Except for like 50. Ten thousand manpower. Do I want to get more planes? Of course I want to get more planes. It's a silly question. Although actually what I should probably do is expand the size of... Close air supports I already have. Yeah, this is probably a better idea. Okay. I've got the ones which are actually being used most aggressively. My bad. Now I do have a bit of a shortage of close air support, but that's fine. We, we can make up that deficit. Can I get more tanks onto the front now? Uh, yes, I can. I one more. I'm actually quite impressed by how rapidly we've been upgrading our tank divisions, or our infantry divisions to tanks. To the heavy infantry. Infantry to heavy infantry. Cavalry are getting us overruns. Like, they're doing their bit. Fortunately, the front line is now pretty massive. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to assign you to this. And I'm going to make this go the whole way across. In the meantime, the cavalry can do whatever the cavalry can do. Japan's just declared war on Hawaii. Hawaii, I think, was Entente, wasn't it? Yep. So Japan is now at war with the Entente. Interesting. Still sinking Austrian convoys. political stability is done. The Austrians are very much on the way out now. Alright, national focus. Institute free trade policy, which is going to suck. A free trade policy will allow us to better direct the flow and movement of goods, which will thereby help increase our exports in addition, foster economic ties with some new nations. How goes the war? It's going pretty well. Question is whether my war participation is going up. Yes, massively. We may actually overtake France by the end of this. I've still only lost 42,000. This is ridiculous. Mordred's heavy armor, Fortress France units are back, baby. Oh, yeah! And I like this template. This is a really good template. Like, you have to be mass assault to pull it off. But this is what? 15 infantry, 4 artillery, tank destroyer, and heavy tank. It's a nice template. How's the American War going? That's a good question. Oh boy! CSA can't be in for much longer, surely.
They're only halfway to capitulation, really? Oh, I guess these count as theirs now because they took them from the USA. Separate war. Interesting. How many dead on their side compared to ours? Our side, including the communists, have lost 344,000. They've lost 1.29 million. And in terms of my actual losses, 43,000. I've killed 190 Austrians, 190 Hungarians, 200,000 Illyrians, and 169,000 Galicians. I'm the top killer in every single nation. So we've definitely been proving our worth. And, you know what, I'm going to delete your entire line now. I'm just going to say your line is now, like, so. And your objective is like so. Go. Hungary is capitulated. Karl Liebknecht has announced that the cowardly Hungarian nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Prussian forces throughout the country. We're still 41%, France is at 46. Ah crap, just selected some of the cavalry too. Uh, should be fairly easy to find him. Though. There he is. Oh, and this is all Prussia. Hold on. This is where things start getting messy. As hell. Uh, you lot, you, you. New front line facing that way. Going to crack off. And then you lot can go and assist here in the north. Yeah, the Ukraine's still alive. Are you independent now? Uh, yes, you are actually. Well, that's interesting. And we have some new military factories. I'm going to say, build me more heavy tanks. And we're also going to need to get a bunch more steel. I feel like we're gonna have to trade. Oh no, we can get it from Prussia. Let's get it from the Prussians. There we are. And how many civilian factories do I still have going? Seven. Ukraine has a bunch of steel and more chromium and also more oil. Quite a lot of oil. Okay, I think I know what my next target's gonna be. Galicia, Illyria, and Austria are almost out. 1.4 million losses now. Yikes. found their capital fleet. I'm not sure that I particularly want to fight their capital fleet, but I know where it is now. 
Oh, you guys have no orders. Oh, I see what the problem is. There you go, now you're attacking. This is a hell of a pocket. Vienna's the only thing still standing. Illyria has capitulated. Ferdinand I, that's us, have announced the cowardly Illyria nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Bulgarian forces throughout the country. I think I'm going to throw in a quick save here, so that I can refer back to the percentages if we need to. Who's battle? Prussia? France. Do I have a Prince of Terror advisor? No, they don't exist in Kaiserreich. Fall of Vienna. The Habsburg capital is lost. A few days ago, the Prussian army pinned the remaining Austrian soldiers on the backs of the Danube, and rumour has it that the Austrian royal family fled while they could. Now, the city is completely controlled by the Prussian Republic, its many artists and musicians living in apprehension of what will become of the cultural bastion of Europe. And then that's going to be it. The end. Boom. Well, the definite thing is Prussia is going to go to France. Sorry, Bohemia is going to go to France. Probably to Prussia. Um, meanwhile, Illyria is going to go to me. 